welcome once again to hacker world i'm gonna show you a simple ir proximity switch right here you see as my hand come close to the circuit an led glows when i go further away it goes off when i come closer it glows and so on and so forth now the reason for this is because of this infrared transmitter right here and an infrared receiver right there so the transmit is always on and the receiver will get the signal if there is no shielding between both and the LED will stay on all the time but when you put a shield around the transmitter the receiver is not getting any signal therefore the LED stays off however when my hand comes closer there's a reflection the signal from the transmitter bounces off the palm of my hand and then the receiver picks it up to turn on the LED so that is what is happening right here however um, if you use an ordinary remote control and you point it towards the receiver and you press it um, the LED will come on so you see the blinking so you can actually make uh, a remote control receiver in your house and use your universal remote control to control other things in your house but that's not the subject of this video this video is on infrared proximity switch think of other applications you can use this for you know like your your tap you can you can turn it on automatically without having to touch anything just as you come closer you can light up the room so different places just by coming closer to it so i'm going to show you how this is made i know you'll be wondering how is this made there's no microcontrollers here or anything you just have the ir transmitter ir receiver you have a simple transistor general purpose npn transistor will do here we're using the 2n2222 type you have three resistors two one kilo ohm resistors and one 4.7 ohm resistor you have an led just any led will do okay so you can see as i'm coming closer it's lighting and it's, it's brighter as you come in closer it goes brighter and brighter and brighter so i tried 1.1 1 .1 kilo ohm resistor here and now i'm using 4.7 ohms and it still works 4.7 ohms um is brighter than the one one kilo ohm resistor but obviously uh you know that because more more current is flowing through the, the resistor right the the through the um the transmitter that's why you have more signal going through the um the led anyway so let me show you how this is made so i've taken the liberty to draw the circuit for you um you have an infra uh, infrared transmitter right here and then you have a resistor here i'm using 4.7 ohm resistor or 4.7 ohms but i've used i use up to one kilo ohms resistor so you can vary and see what happens what the effect on your led then there's the transmitter so that's the receiver the transmitter has arrows going out the receiver has the arrows coming in so you can just shield it so that the signal can only come through here when there's a reflection the receiver is biasing the, the transistor remember the transistor is config, configured as a switch so um let me just show you a simple transistor switch which will be something like this um i can have an led here and a biasing resistor right there and a positive right there that will be my ground so this is emitter and this base so if i connect a pull up resistor to this transistor becomes a switch but in this configuration we had an infrared transmitter bef uh, infrared receiver sorry before the positive so that's what you have right there so the infrared transmitter is connected in series with the pull-up resistor to bias the transistor and then the LED will come on so that's that's the circuit pretty much one kilo ohm i tried different values they work you know i've used up to 100 100 kilo ohms and it still works so that's the the receiver section you have 
five components one two three four five and then the transmitter section you just have two components you can have the LED, the IR transmitter and then you have the resistor to just to limit the current flow that's all this goes to the positive so that's a circuit again for you if you're wondering um, so that's the transmitter that's the receiver that's here we use 4.7 ohms and that's it pretty much so leave us your comments ask your questions and leave a, a video feedback and uh, this is a project you can do in under uh, 20 minutes okay find other applications that you can use it for leave it in our comments ask us your questions there's no programming here there is no um, microcontrollers just simple discrete components all right thanks again this is once again hacker world unlimited have a great day Bye.